I think uh, Europe has forgotten how to do mass mobilizations, struggles to change uh, kind of everyday existence. I know I have seen huge mobilization against war, against the Iraq war. We saw that against Afghanistan, entry of forces. We've looked at all that. But on everyday issues of governance, uh, I don't think uh, Europe knows how to do it, number one. Number two, I think the people of Europe uh, need to also understand that many of the choices that they are making today actually harm, destroy livelihoods of the poor people here. So that's something that they need to understand and that kind of uh, the, the struggles to save the forests, the struggle to save water, uh, the struggle to save land and keep it for farming, to save a whole culture, to save a whole civilization is happening here. But uh, if the if global choices, particularly led by Europe and America, this whole market-led development, uh, if, if they keep pursuing, then it will keep eroding people's lives. So I think Europe needs to learn uh, the implications of its choices outside its own world, outside its own country, outside its own village, to see what is actually happening here. And I think this is a very tough lesson, uh, but they need to know that the choices that they are making are actually leading to people's dispossession, uh, to malnutrition, to hunger, and uh, this, therefore, people are fighting back. People are fighting now, they know it. It's not just their own government, but it's also all those global forces who are pushing it. And I think in Europe, if we can get people really, a nucleus of people, collectives of people who support this, it will be great.